Hey there, everybody. So instead of doing a turning tip this week, um, I do a talk about where ideas come from, uh, and specifically creative ideas. So and by creative ideas, I don't necessarily mean creating art. Uh, a creative idea is in, you know, could be art, could be in solving a problem that you see in your life, in society, in anywhere. Um, so, you know, I'm gonna mention, I've got some a cheat sheet down here because I'm <laughs> admittedly not great about just standing in front of the camera and talking. Uh, but uh, I'm gonna mention a few books that, uh, that have sort of helped me uh, look at the creative process slightly different. Um, so the first being uh, Rick Rubin, Rick Rubin uh, and The Creative Act. Um, you know, he, that book, uh, for anybody that is, uh, how do I say it, more grounded is and, you know, doesn't uh, believe in something that lives outside of ourselves or the universe might be a bit much. Uh, I personally loved it. Um, you know, his theory kind of is that, you know, ideas are these things that uh, are these, you know, they float around in the universe and people that are more attuned to attract those ideas, have them come to them. So like if you have a really strong antenna, um, you know, and, and basically that you need to be willing to listen uh, to what these things are telling you um, and then to act on them. Um, so that would be one, one book that I would recommend. Um, uh, second one is uh, The War of Art by Stephen Pressfield. So it, I think he's mostly known for his fiction books uh, like the Legend of Bagger Vance was, I think, his first big break for, breakthrough. Um, he talks about ideas in a different way. Um, so he believes in the, you know, the old, the legend of the muse, where you know, if you sit down and you're willing to do the work, um, you will be presented with ideas. The muse will help you, uh, which also an interesting idea. Um, I don't, um, I don't know if either of those ideas are true. Um, I do know this, that any time that I have had great ideas, uh, they've happened while I've been working. And because I tend to work a lot, I get a lot of ideas. Um, and they don't always happen when you would expect them. I never, like for instance, if I'm standing at the lathe and I have a chunk of wood that I expect to be a bowl, and as I'm working on it, I slip. Um, or I'm roughing a shape in and I see something different that has probably always been there but I've never noticed it before, and I can run with it from there. Um, but you know, it, you know, for instance, so this morning, I was splitting some firewood to start a fire in the shop, which I've since let go, uh, but uh, just probably why I'm a little chilly feeling. Um, you know, just the simple act of splitting wood and realizing this like bookmarked split piece of, uh, you know, air dried walnut, it gave me an idea for something else. Um, so really in, in my experience, the, the majority of my good ideas that eventually become something have happened while I've been working. It's very rare for me to like sit down with a piece of paper and and try to come up with something new just out of thin air. Um, you know, for me personally, I get most of my great ideas while I'm working. Um, in another way that I've always been, I would call it creative problem solving, is you know, in a past career um, or if a client were to come to me with an idea for a product that they want or would like to have made um, and I can take a look at you know what they present and then through my past experience knowledge and design will come up with a solution usually pretty quickly usually they're pretty good um, but uh, you know another a third book I'm sorry I'm kind of scattered in my thoughts here but a third book which I just finished finished and it it doesn't it's not as much about the, uh, the the act of creation as much as it is um you know he calls it you know shipping your art but uh 
Seth Godin, and the book is The Practice. Um, I think it was, I think it came out in 2020. Um, I think I've read most of his books. They're all pretty good. Um, they're most of them are marketing based. Um, I think that I tend to like and most and agree most with his thought process that, you know, it's kind of your responsibility uh, as a human to fall through on these ideas that come to you um, and to do the work and to share that work with other people uh, with in any way, you know, whether it's family, friends, you know, a post online, et cetera. And, you know, I guess if you've followed me for a number of years, you know, mainly on Instagram, um, you've probably seen numerous things shown that have never sort of come to light. Like I'll show parts of it. And for me, it's like I, I create something, I have a spark that causes me to create something. I don't always know what to do with it. Sometimes they don't turn out, they don't work out. Other times there's something there. I don't know what to do with it and I'll stick it in a box. And I literally have boxes in my basement full of things that I've made over the last eight years that I just don't know what to do with. And for the longest time, I would start questioning myself, like why am I keeping these things? Uh, you know, why don't I just use them as kindling? Cause you know, God knows I run out of kindling all winter long in the shop. Um, there's always something that prevents me from doing it. And, you know, not that I keep absolutely everything I make that doesn't become a commercially viable thing. Um, but there's always pieces that there's something there and I don't know what it is. And I know enough to not throw them away. Um, so as an example, um, somebody approached me with a potential project, uh, two weeks ago. It was kind of interesting. And, you know, I gave it some thought, uh, drew a couple quick sketches as to how I thought I could make this thing. And for no reason, I just had the thought I had to go down to the basement and open one of these boxes, you know, open the box. And the first thing I pull out is exactly what I need to make to make this product. Um, and not just make it as a product, but make it like it's going to have a function. Um, but it's gonna be really fucking cool. <laughs> and I'm sure that I could have just done a sketch, come up with an idea, produced this thing, and it would have been good. But you know, having this thing that I pulled out of a box, um, I think it's gonna be great. Um, you know, so really, uh, and this comes for like, you know, I, I get asked a lot, like where do I come up with the ideas for the, the bowl designs that I make? Um, you know, like I said, they almost all happen while I'm at the lathe working. Um, a lot of times what I'm finding lately is those, the styles and the design and the ideas that sort of have, have been built in this bowl area are starting to become other things now. Um, it, it mostly because I realize I'm ready for a lot more than what I've been doing. Um, it, for me, um, if I had any really good advice or something that I would, I wish that somebody would have told a younger version of me as a creative person that has worked uh, both for a corporation in a creative capacity and now for myself and my current business, um, you cannot be afraid to spend the time that you're going to need to spend to make something that has come to you for fear that it's not gonna work out. Um, and it's the same for almost everything with the turning craft. It's like, you know, what can I do to avoid losing this piece of wood? You know, what can I do to avoid this from cracking? What can I do to not waste this piece of material or this time? And the reality is nothing. You can't do anything. It's your, in my opinion, it's your responsibility to fall through on these ideas that either came to you somehow or that you've come up with, there's never, you know, the reality is there's no guarantee that this thing is going to work out, but something I believe firmly will come from it eventually, even if it was just a lesson of what not to do or, Hey, that didn't work. Um, or it doesn't look like I thought it did, but maybe it will lead you, 
lead you somewhere else. And perhaps maybe if you shared that experience, they, the person you're sharing it with will, it'll spark something in them to allow them to create something that has been in them, but they didn't realize it until you shared something with them. So maybe it's a responsibility to, uh, to the world at large to create and share. Um, not easy to do. Um, so anyhow, um, I'm going to, I will share those three books in my notes. I'll just put links to them on Amazon. They're great books. They're all very good reads. Um, you know, but the reality is like, if you have ideas that just come to you either while you're on a walk or while you're working, take a minute, write them down, do a sketch, leave yourself a voice message, and then follow through on that thing after you've had enough time to think about why or what or how and make it um, or write it or whatever that thing is. Maybe it isn't a physical thing. Um, I, I firmly believe that something good comes out of everything you create, even if it's a lesson of what not to do. Um, you know, I think uh, Picasso has a quote that I just have always loved, and it's just been, it's always been very true to me, um, that inspiration exists, but it has to find you working. So, like, you, you can wait on the sidelines forever, waiting for an idea. Uh, make the time, give yourself the time to come up with those ideas while you're working, while you're doing something, you know. Go for a walk, you know, go dig in the dirt, do some gardening, go for a hike in the woods, you know, any menial task or seemingly menial tasks like, you know, like splitting some firewood um, could very well have you come up with some idea that just hasn't really existed before, or maybe it's existed before, but your take on it is going to be different and better or unique. So anyhow, um, you know, as always, if you ever have any, you know, questions, comments, leave them in the comments below. Uh, if you like this and you've liked my channel, uh, please consider sharing it out. It'd be great to, uh, to be able to share this with a bigger audience. But uh, anyhow, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this uh, slightly different lesson for the day. And uh, yeah, take care, everybody.